Hello guys, how are you doing today? So today we'll be discussing how to solve this type of equation. So first I'll be using something called the X factor, the umbrella method and the square method. All in one problem. And I'll start to show you how. So first we'll just do an X under the middle term and bring down whatever that middle term is including the sign with it. So in this case it's negative 15. Alright, and then the umbrella concept of it comes because we need to multiply the first number and the last number together. So multiplying 2 times 18, that will give us 36. Alright, what are the multiples of 36? We can have 1 and 36, which is 36, but this doesn't follow these right here. Okay, now we can have 2 times 18, which gives us 36, but that doesn't satisfy both of them. But we can use 3 and 12, which satisfies both of them. So we can use negative 3 and negative 12. That will satisfy both of them because if you multiply negative 3 times negative 12, you will get 36, positive 36. And if you add both of them together, you will get negative 50. So this satisfies all our x factors, okay? Now we will be doing the box method. So you just do something that has four squares just like the Punnett square. And then you bring right here your A term and your C term. The A term is the first one that comes in. So that is 2 in this case and the C term is the last term. In this case it's 18. So these two have to go right here so it's AC. And now these two numbers will go right here and right here. And it doesn't really matter which box they go in, they can be interchangeable. So negative 12 and negative 3. Now we just do basically simple math. We can multiply 1 times 2 to give us 2. Okay? We can multiply 1 times negative 3 to give us negative 3. So far so good. And we can multiply 2 times negative 6 to give us negative 12 and the way you will know that you are on the right track and you have all the right numbers if the last two numbers right here will give you the right answer which is 18 in this case negative 3 times negative 6 will definitely equal 18 positive 18 and right now all you need to do is just basically add right here an x squared and an x squared if this wasn't a fourth degree term it will only be x and x but in this case it's a fourth degree term so it has to be squared and squares to give us the fourth term all right so you basically pull down these two equations and put them in parentheses so it will be x squared minus 6 and then 2x squared minus 3 equals 0 just like the original equation and right now you basically take each equation to the side by itself and make it equal to 0 all right and right now we can add 6 to both sides it will be x squared equals 6 and if we take the square root of this right here and the square root of this, these automatically cancel out. The square root and the squared sign. So your final answer will be x equals plus or minus square root of 6. So these right here are two answers because it's plus and minus. So technically you can say it's plus square root of 6 and minus square root of 6. But you can just do the shortcut and just write it just like that. And then moving along to the next equation, which is 2x squared minus 3 equals 0. You add 3 to both sides, 2x squared equals 3, and then you can divide by 2, divide by 2, x squared equals 3 over 2. You can do the same exact thing, take the square root of this and the square root of this. These two will cancel out. And your final answer will be x equals 
square root of 3 over 2. This is your not final answer yet because right here it will be plus and minus square root of 3 over 2. You can simplify this even further by multiplying square root of 2 and square root of 2 to get the denominator out of the square root. Alright, so this will equal x equals plus or minus square root of 6 over 2. So this is your other set of two answers. So you can write it down as x equals plus or minus square root of 6, comma, plus or minus square root of 6 over 2. If you want to expand both of them, you basically have right here, plus square root of 6 and minus square root of 6, plus square root of 6 over 2 and minus square root of 6 over 2. So these are your four answers. Alright? And the way to know that is if you go up to your original equation, it's a fourth degree. So that means you will have four answers. And this is what we got right here. So this checks. And this method is super easy to use once you got the concept where everything goes. Alright. So now, what if your teacher asks to use a quadratic formula or completing the square method to solve an equation just like that. It's not hard to do, but it's just very time consuming. That's why I went out and I bought this calculator. It's very simple. I'll show you how to use it. So you basically go to mode, you go to five, which is equation. And in this case, we have a second degree equation. So therefore we will use number three. And we basically just plug all our numbers in. Our A, our B, and our C. Our A is 3, our B is 12, and our C is negative 2. Push equal. So right here, negative 6 plus square root of 42 all over 3. And the second part of it is negative 6 minus square root of 42 all over 3 and this is our answer this only took us like five seconds to do so i really recommend you go out and buy this calculator it's definitely worth the 20 dollars have a very nice day